Hi, my name is Deb Smith. I'm a licensed professional counselor and life coach. I decided I wanted to do some videos because I was thinking, I get emails all the time, um, and I was thinking if one person has this question, then probably many people have this question. So instead of just answering one individual person with a video, I'd be able to answer hopefully many, many other people's questions. So to get started, I thought I would look at the foundation. And when you come into my office and you want to start either coaching or if you live in the Pennsylvania area and you want to come in for counseling, then we start with a foundation um, and everyone pretty much starts off the same way. I want to make sure that you're strong and that you're healthy and that you're really ready to do the work that needs to be done to, to get where you want to go, to find the healing, to find the happiness, to find whatever it is that you're looking for. So the first part of that is taking a look at what are you putting in your body? What are you eating? What are you drinking? Are you healthy? Are you looking at your food as fuel, as a resource? Or are you just putting anything in your mouth that you can grab because you're so exhausted, you don't have the time, you don't have the patience, you don't have the resources um, for good, healthy food? Well, if you're not putting healthy food into your body and you're not really concerned about what's going into your body, you're not going to have the energy that you need to just to get through the day, forget about doing the work that we need to do. So let's take a look at that. So for example, if you are drinking six cups of coffee a day, or you're having, say, I don't know, 10 glasses of soda a day, that is going to fuel your body with sugar, with additives, with chemicals, and you're gonna be running, 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 and then just crash, you're gonna bottom out. That's not what we're looking for. Absolutely not what we're looking for. We're looking for an even keel. We're looking for fuel that's going to last the full day. So we're looking at things like drinking smoothies instead, or drinking glass of orange juice, or um, apple cider. And, you know, water. Water is great. Something other than chemical laden, sugar laden um, beverages. So if you are doing that, I would suggest don't stop just cut down. You don't want to put your body in shock. So if you're having six glasses of soda a day, well, why don't you have five glasses of soda a day, just for maybe three or four days, and then bring that down a little bit to four, and then three, and then two, and eventually it becomes every once in a while I have a glass of soda, but it's no longer part of my daily routine. Hopefully what you're going to notice is that your brain is going to calm down, your body's going to calm down, those crazy moods are going to calm down because your body is no longer craving sugar and then crashing from sugar or trying to respond to all of those chemicals and additives and then crashing from them or struggling to get them out of your body. So that's beverage, okay? Now what about food? What I tell people is if your great-great-grandmother wasn't able to go to the food store and see that on her shelf, don't buy it. <laughs> don't put those things in your body. Yeah, every once in a while we want a boxed item, we want a boxed cake, we want boxed donuts. Every once in a while, that's fine. But in general, on a daily basis, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, lean meats, healthy snacks, that's the way we want to live on a regular basis if we can do that if we can sometimes it truly isn't available where we live um, oftentimes it is we're just not looking in the right place so when you go to your grocery store you know they tell you go around the sides go around the sides in the center it's all the box stuff stay in the refrigerator section stay in the fruit and vegetable section stay along the back where they have all the dairy and all the healthy stuff so try to stay out of the middle lanes. That's where we get into trouble. With all of our boxed and packaged and canned, all of those things. Once in a while, sure, but on a regular basis, that's not what we should be putting in our bodies. Something healthy, something lean, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna think better, you're gonna be ready to start the day. And hopefully, with the energy that you have during the day, then you're actually going to be tired at night. So hopefully, it's going to help improve your sleep at night as well. So the very first thing I want you to do is take a look at what are you eating, what are you drinking, what are you putting in your body? Are you helping it or are you making it work harder and taking energy away from where we need to do the work?
Okay, thanks so much, and hopefully you tune in to the next video. Take care.